The Legend of the Golden Bibasian. One warm June evening in the first years of the 21st century, I was having fun with my classmates. We were collecting Pokemons in the park near the stadium. All of a sudden, the sky brightened unnaturally, and I noticed a huge spaceship flying towards us. We were shocked and surprised. At first, we started to run, but then curiosity got the best of me, and from a distance, I watched this crazy event. During the landing, sparks shot out of the rocket. As a result, a dozen trees burst into flames. All my companions got scared and ran away, but I felt an irresistible desire to see everything from up close. After a moment, the rocket's doors opened and seven newcomers from outer space emerged. They were of medium height, had turquoise skin, a little navy blue hair on top of their heads, and unnaturally large ears shaped like cabbage leaves. Their hands were also strange. They were short and each hand had only four fingers. Their eyes caught my attention because they were very large, penetrating, and glowed like reflectors. One of the newcomers was holding a large egg, which was white with pink dots. Next, he carried out a stone that he laid in between the trees. Before I came to my senses, the aliens approached me. The rest of my scared friends watched this incident from behind the trees, and one of them, probably the leader, asked me to talk. It turned out that he had a synthesizer of earthly speech, and in conversation, he assured me of the peaceful purpose of their coming. It was to conduct a series of scientific experiments that would help them maintain the continuity of life on their planet. Of course, for the safety of everyone and not to cause unnecessary panic, the whole mission had to remain secret. Six months would be needed to gather the right amount of information, including genetic codes from some animals and plants, which the aliens plan to transport to their planet, Vivas. During that time, the newcomers in full camouflage, consisting of artificial human skin pulled over their entire body, would play the role of Golenyuv residents and take on a number of professional roles. One of them, the green Vivasian, played the role of a doctor who was considered a miracle worker with phenomenal surgical talent. After a dozen or so operations, some Golenyuv residents stood up from their wheelchairs. During his time in Golenyuv, the blue Bibasian became the world champion of the 100 meter race. The yellow Bibasian proved to be a record holder in carrot cultivation. The size of his carrots reached up to one meter. Legend has it that the yellow, blue, and green Bibasians were actually one, the golden Bibasian in the form of all three people. All the good he did, of course, was thanks to the supernatural skills of this hero. The municipal news said that the golden Bibasian had the ability to teleport and clone. Our newcomer also turned out to be extre an extremely good being, good like a human, because he intended to use his extraordinary talents solely for the good of the people of Golenyuv. The rest of the Bivasians, pink, red, white, and purple, were helpers, and they were secretly involved in collecting and analyzing information. One of them kept an egg brought from the planet Bibas in his apartment. After a month, a Bibasian dinosaur hatched, which escaped during one of his secret walks in the forest. After some time, mushroom hunters found a dead creature lying in the brushwood at Pilot's Mountain. To this day, none of the inhabitants know what this creature was and how it got there. None of these stories, thanks to the omnipotence of today's social media, escape the attention of citizens across Poland. Crowds of sprinters and runners, including foreign ones, came to Golenyuk to train with the Blue Bibasian, the newly crowned world champion. They came all the more because his amazing feats were accompanied by a magical phenomenon. With each subsequent training, the treadmill at the city stadium became more and more blue. Only the insiders knew that the reason was because of the blue sweat of the inhabitant of the planet Vivas. During the Bibasian's stay in Golenyuv, the number of tourists visiting the town increased fivefold. After half a year, 
Me and two of my closest friends were informed by the golden Bugassian they had already obtained the genotype codes of the plants and animals of interest to them, and their mission was over, which would mean that they would soon fly away to their own planet. After the departure of the strangers, the miracle doctor, the world champion runner, and the record-holding farmer disappeared overnight from the town of Goleniuk. It's hard to believe, but the newcomers from the planet Bibas managed to create a story that all three of them died in a plane crash while on vacation, and the town residents believed it. But is this all true? Maybe someone told me this story, or maybe I dreamed it. But wait, the blue running track can be found in the stadium. The stone stands in the park. The dinosaur at Shkolna Street number 13 looks awfully scary. Anyway, in honor of all these legendary events, the city authorities decided to create a monument for future generations. A rocket symbolizing their spacecraft can be found on the playground at Planty. The lights in the park near the stadium symbolizing the moment of their landing is an eloquent example which recalls the living legend of the Golden Bibasian who had a positive impact on the lives of the people of Goleniuk. The end.